Malacanang is concerned a Chinese survey ship was spotted at Menham Rise. Defense Secretary Delphine Lorenzana told the public about it Thursday. Presidential spokesman Ernesto Abella says, quote, The Department of National Defense has already notified the Department of Foreign Affairs regarding this matter as we continue to assert our sovereignty over our territory. Lorenzana on Thursday said that the Chinese ship was seen at Benham Rise for as long as three months last year. He says he ordered the military to drive Chinese ships away should they return to the area. This comes amid warmer ties between Beijing and Manila after an arbitral tribunal nullified China's nine-dash line last year. Benham Rise is a 13 million hectare area that was confirmed part of Philippine territory in 2012. Defense Secretary Delphine Lorenzana says there are plans to transfer an entire military division to Sulu to meet a self-imposed deadline to crush local terrorist group Abu Sayyaf. The kidnappings worsened in the first months of President Rodrigo Duterte. From 18 hostages when he assumed office on June 30, now there are 31, mostly foreigners. There are 25 foreigners among the 31 hostages, including seven Vietnamese crewmen abducted in February. A German hostage was also beheaded last month. Duterte on Thursday threatened to impose martial law in Mindanao if the situation gets worse. The Duterte administration is also working with Malaysia and Indonesia to conduct joint patrols in the piracy-plagued waters. Mighty corporation owners Alex and Cesar Wong Chu King may still face charges for their alleged use of fake tax stamps, despite President Rodrigo Duterte's offer of a compromise. Chief Presidential Legal Counsel Sal Panello says the Wong Chu Kings may pay all their debts to the government, but it doesn't mean they won't be prosecuted. Duterte earlier offered to forget about the accusations against the Wong Chu Kings if they pay the government 3 billion pesos to make up for the 1.5 billion pesos in taxes they didn't pay. The president on Tuesday ordered the Wong Chu Kings arrested for economic sabotage. But Justice Secretary Vitaliano Aguirre says they can't be arrested without a case filed against them first. <music> South Korean President Pat Gun Hae is fired by the country's top court Friday as it upholds her impeachment over a corruption scandal. Park is found to have broken the law by allowing her friend Choi Soon Shil to meddle in state affairs and breach rules on public servants' activities. Park becomes the first leader of South Korea to be removed by impeachment. She is obliged to leave the Blue House and lose her executive immunity from prosecution. The unanimous decision triggers the snap election to be held within 60 days. Park, the daughter of a late army-backed dictator, became South Korea's first female president when she was elected in 2012. She secured the highest vote share of any candidate in the democratic era. But her aloof style in a series of controversies, coupled with mounting economic and social frustrations, saw her ratings plunge and millions take to the streets to demand her removal. Two United States congressional panels on Thursday approved Republican plans to replace Obamacare after 18 hours of marathon debates. The House Ways and Means Committee is the first to approve the bill that would repeal and replace former U.S. President Barack Obama's landmark health reforms. But the House Energy and Commerce Committee took more than 27 hours to review the bill, finally voting along strict party lines for its approval. The legislation now heads to the House Budget Committee. Republican leaders forged ahead with their proposal despite mounting opposition from within the party keeping pressure on President Donald Trump as he faces resistance to his top legislative priority. The plan suffered a setback Wednesday when several major hospital and medical organizations, including the American Medical Association, which represents more than 200,000 doctors, lined up in opposition. Packers say the legislation would cut Obamacare's mandates to purchase health care, roll back its taxes, and stabilize costs. But Republican opponents warn the plan is too similar to Obamacare and could cost even more. Democrats expected to unanimously oppose the bill say it would leave millions of Americans without coverage.